Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Polyform A1 Aqua Training Bag. So stay tuned. Okay, so we have the A1 series Polyform buoy, which is going to be exactly like the Aqua Training Bag Headhunter slip bag. And you may have seen some pro boxers like Triple G use one of these um, for head movement and a hit as well. It's kind of like a combination between a heavy bag and a slip bag. So it's like a slip bag that you can work on head movement and mobility, but you can also punch the bag. When it's fully filled up, it's about 35 to 40 pounds, just depending on how much you fill it up. It does come with the port right there that you can unscrew with a flat tip screwdriver. And then I use uh, this screw on garden hose adapter with this and that I'm going to push inside there. Yes, you'll get a little bit of water that leaks out, but if you do it outside, that shouldn't be an issue. A carabiner that I'm going to attach to this turnbuckle. This turnbuckle is what I'm going to use to the attach to attach to the top of the bag. I have a screwdriver and then a straight chain, a straight link chain um, that I'm using right there. That's what I'm going to attach it to. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and fill this thing up. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. First, I'm gonna take the plug out of the polyform buoy. It's just a regular plastic plug that's screwed and threaded in. Go that to the side. Next, I'm going to attach the garden hose. Mine sprays a little bit, so don't mind. I have a little bit of water that's going to be coming out at the end of the, uh, the spigot right here. And then the garden hose adapter, I'm just going to connect it on there, hand tight. And then from here, this garden hose adapter, I'm going to go ahead and put in this, is this plug right here and turn the water on, fill it up. Gotta switch. I need to change this out. This thing uh, gets sprayed quite a bit of water. So, step out of, over here so I don't get water all over. But now you can see that it's starting to fill up the buoy. You do get a little bit of seepage, you can see there, but the garden hose adapter pretty much fills it up and you just kind of hold it in place. If you have a larger buoy, you could do the same thing. Um, if you're doing it inside the garage, you know, you probably will get water on the floor, but I mean, it's gonna evaporate anyway. So now you can see the actual buoy starting to take, take shape, starting to fill up now with water. And just let it slowly fill up. And you know it's full, because once it gets full, the water's really gonna start pushing out of that hole where the adapter is. Just letting this fill all the way up. And you can start to see that it's starting to open up a little bit more and that belly is getting full of water. So I get it nice and full to the where, you know, the buoy itself fills up and get, start to get rid of those creases. Starting to fill up more. Kind of feel it with your hands. And it's gonna to get to the point where it's so full. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the water. And you can actually see the water is kind of weeping out of the hole now. So that's all completely full of water. I'm gonna go ahead and put this plug back in. Grab my flat tip screwdriver. Screw it back into the hole so no water can come out. Careful not to strip it. And that's pretty much it. Now this uh, water bully is full of water and is ready to be installed, mounted to the, to the uh, chain. And we can go ahead and start hitting it. So here's the completed setup of this A1 Polyform buoy. Obviously I just filled this up with water. Um, there goes the fill cap. That's all screwed in with the flat tip screwdriver. Next is gonna be the metal turnbuckle that you screw through. So that just kind of goes over and this piece 
is threaded, screws right through. Mine came with this little rubber sleeve that I left on so that it's not metal against metal. Uh, I have a metal carabiner and then from there, uh, I have my metal chain that goes up to the top. I'm gonna clean that up later on. I gotta break some of those links off so I don't have so much metal just dangling from that to make it cleaner. Um, a lot of time people do their own setup usually from here on up. So you can use a rope, a different kind of chain, whatever setup you might wanna use. But I had mine go all the way up to a spring that's attached to a carabiner and my top mount right there actually, uh, it actually rotates and that's um, screwed into a big uh, support beam up there. Um, or a trellis if you want to call it and uh, so that's pretty much it this is the version of the aqua bag that's considered the headhunter version so you can see compared to my hand the size of it just to kind of give you guys a reference so this is going to be definitely more for head movement mobility but it can also still take a good punch and this weighs about mm, i'd say about 39 pounds uh, when full of water so it's not terribly heavy it's it's light enough to where you can move it around and pick it up but it's still heavy enough to where you can hit it with a good shot and still feel it. So let's check it hey, out. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here. And today I'm gonna to be doing a review of this Polyform A1 Aqua Training Buoy, also known as Aqua Training Bag. This is the smaller version, which is very similar to the Aqua Training Bag uh, Head Hunter Slip Bag. It is uh, 11 inches in diameter and 15 inches in height. Uh, so what this allows you to do is you can still hit it like a heavy bag. It has a good enough amount of weight to it, but it's a little bit more mobile so you can really Work on head movement, slipping, bobbing, weaving, using your footwork, and just getting underneath this bag and around it. Um, you guys, you see guys like Triple G using this bag a lot uh, during his training, and it really allows you to work on more of your precision punching and working around your target, working from the outside, getting underneath it. So unlike a standard heavy bag, it challenges you to move, where sometimes guys get really stuck on just hitting a bag and staying in one position, they might shift, they might step to the side, they might pivot, but with this, because it swings, when you have it attached to your chain or your rope, now you can incorporate a lot more of your footwork and the defensive movement and still get a great workout. Uh, now it is 11 by 15. I do have this turnbuckle shackle that goes through it. It's made of the same rubber polyurethane uh, tough material that any of the other aqua bags are made from. This one is $36 on Amazon, so it's much cheaper than the aqua training brand. Um, and it's originally meant to block uh, boats or, um, you know, sea equipment from hitting up against where it docks. So they fill this up with air, they put it in the ocean, and when a boat comes up the dock, this acts as a barrier or uh, like padding so that the boat doesn't crash into the wooden dock or to the concrete or whatever it may be. It just acts as a barrier. They also use it in like the Navy, Marine type situations where uh, they put it out there as markers or something just to prevent people from going further than they need to be. So it has multiple uses, uh, but for us in the combat world, boxing, MMA, UFC, kickboxing, whatever it may be, uh, we use it to punch with. So uh, great device you can see here, just to kind of give you guys an example of what I use it for. Again, for head movement, slipping, and the good, good thing about it is you can hit it with a good amount of power, and it takes it, it absorbs, the power roll nicely. Keep in mind, you want to make sure you anchor this into your into your ceiling. It has to be concrete, wooden stud, something that can take the weight, but as well as the bouncing and the movement. So it's not just the static weight that you're worried about when you anchor it into wherever you anchor it into. It's the swinging and the actual bouncing from when you hit the bag that you want to make sure that wherever you mount it to is going to hold it. So obviously you're not going to use drywall anchors. It needs to be mounted into concrete, cinder block, um, wood something that's very supportive of this weight plus more of the movement so again works great for movement pivot you can do uppercuts hooks on this nice single shots you could you could sharpshoot it work on head movement getting underneath it It's really an effective tool. I, I like this a lot because you're combining a heavy bag and a maze bag, or if you want to call it the slip bag, as basically one tool. You're getting two in one with this. You're getting a, a slip bag that you can throw shots on. Because if you have a regular slip bag or a maze bag that's smaller, 
you can't really, I mean, you can hit it, but it's just gonna go flying into the air. With this, it weighs about 35 pounds. So it can definitely take your shots, which is nice. So there you have it, the A1 Aqua Training Buoy by Polyform, Amazon, 36 bucks. Uh, everything, including the chain, the turnbuckle, if you're having to start from brand new, you know, you're looking at probably like $50, $55 for everything. If you don't have any of the accessories like the garden hose, the garden hose adapter. Uh, but the, the actual polyform, the buoy itself is only $36. So, you know, everything out the door for about $55. A great deal, a great tool. Um, if you already have a slip bag or a maze bag, this is nice because this can replace that and you can punch it. So you get that defensive movement you can move your head and work all that plus you can punch this bag it's a win-win for for everybody so as usual if you guys have any questions or comments make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box i'll put the link in the description box where you can find this polyform aqua training buoy i'll see you guys next time peace